This video is going to be about the two peg test and putting it on to a report sheet. So the first thing we'd want to uh, verify is the brand of instrument that we just did the test on and it's a Sokia is the brand and the serial number on the reverse side WS087451. So that would be the first thing to go on to the uh, report sheet. Just going to pop that instrument back down and we put on the serial number WS087451 and the brand was a Sokia and it was a B40A. So that's the first thing on. Uh, the first position we set up in between peg A and peg B took two readings. Reading one went down as 1605 and at peg B the reading was 1637. We changed locations of the instrument, the pegs didn't move, we moved the instrument to one side of um, outside peg A and looking full distance across to peg B, that was the position of the second position. We took reading three and four, so reading three uh, was 1397 and then reading four on peg B was one four two eight so they were our readings and then to work out whether our instrument is good to go we're going to take reading one which was one six oh five and we're going to take that away we're going to take reading three away from that one three nine seven We'll do that calculation shortly. And for peg B, the two readings were 1637. And we're going to take away 1428 off that. So we've got a trusty calculator to help us work that out. So firstly, we're going to put in 1605 minus 1397 and the difference between those two readings is 208 millimeters clear that for peg b 1637 minus 1428 the difference between those two readings is 209 millimeters. So the result of that survey was that it's plus or minus one millimeter was the difference between those two readings and we think that's that's good to use. So we're good to go with that. So we're good to use this instrument. Is what we're right on there. And that would mean if this was our instrument to use on a survey, we would want to go back to use the Sokia B40A um, with that serial number because we've checked it um, today and it's good to go for a survey. So then you'd submit this sheet, so you'd put in um, student name, student number, as usual I was lucky enough to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, the date of this two peg test was the 20th of the 7th, 2021, and we did that at 2.15 pm. So a two peg test needs to be done um, on the instrument. It can be done really quickly. It doesn't need to be two pegs. It can be any two fixed points. Uh, seeing it up once in between the two fixed points, again, outside those two fixed points, those fixed points don't go anywhere. We've set up twice, taken the readings and making sure that we've got 
as close to zero as possible. The greater the number, the greater the error in reading of uh, that instrument for a particular survey. Therefore, you wouldn't be able to trust uh, the instrument as you go around the survey. There you have it, there's the two-peg test um, and its report.